baby. It's the Friday before Mother's Day. This Mother's Day will be my first official Mother's Day. Although I was pregnant last year during Mother's Day. But this, a lot of people don't consider you a mom until after you give birth. So, at any rate, um, this will be my first official Mother's Day for many people. As far as I'm concerned, my first Mother's Day was last year. But I'll take it. I'll take it any way I can get it. Um, I'm excited. Uh, for a number of reasons. Um, I'm going back to work on Monday. Uh, unfortunately, I won't have childcare, which means Baby G will be home with me next week. Um, the sitter who I've uh, managed to lock down um, won't be open, considering everything with the pandemic. She will not be open until at least a week after. Now, I'm going to go meet her. We're pretty much squared away. She has a space. Um, she knows I'm interested. I'm going to meet her on Thursday. So she'll get to meet me. She'll get to meet the baby. I'll get to check out her digs, ask a few extra questions, um, that kind of thing. And um, there's that. As far as where we, uh, where Florida is right now, um, our stay in order, we had a statewide stay in order that was in effect to the end of April. That was not extended. Um, except for the three counties in southeast Florida, which does not affect me. Um, those counties have, I think, 60 to 70 percent of all of our COVID cases, and so those cases contain those counties continue to be locked down. We do still have our curfew, so, um, our county curfew, so that has is remaining in order. So they want everybody in the house unless you're essential between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, so there's that. The schools are closed for the rest of the year. Um, they're doing, not closed, but they're doing, uh, remote or virtual learning. Distance. They call it distance learning. So there's that. So that's pretty much the status on Florida. Right now, uh, we're in phase one of the reopening of the state. And phase one basically allows retailers and restaurants to open up. So as far as retailers, they're only allowed to be open to 25% capacity on the inside. And restaurants can have um, as much capacity as they want outside as long as they mind the social distancing rules of six feet. So there's that bars and clubs remain closed. Um, I think the malls are still closed. They're working on plans to reopen the park, although Universal already announced that they will be closed until the end of May. Um, all the other parks, Disney, Fun Spot, SeaWorld, said they would just be closed until further notice. You may have seen on the news how Disney has furloughed over 43,000 people um, amongst the pandemic. I'm seeing things, uh, I'm seeing things, um, like stores are starting to file bankruptcy. Like I saw a headline about Neiman Marcus, um, filing bankruptcy, you know, I don't know that stores need to file bankruptcy if they're not open. Um, especially since retail stores were closed so it's not like you maybe they were paying their employees and they've not been bringing in any money um and maybe that's why they need to file bankruptcy i don't know i feel like big retailers will get some kind of bailout at some point um i feel like the pandemic is now a good excuse for a big company to file bankruptcy and nobody will think um, you know one way or the other about why they're filing bankruptcy they won't think it necessarily a bad thing so as far as I'm concerned like if you're not closing down stores I don't think you're in that bad of shape as far as you know these sort of um, big name places I think the mom and pop shops are suffering like the most um, as far as like trying to keep their places employed and and uh, and trying to stay open i hope a lot of places do not close down just because they weren't able to open and um bring in business you know because at the end of the day they're 
most likely renting their locations and they still have to pay that rent you know just like people who aren't on a job see it you can't be evicted but at some point the landlord is going to want all of their rent so um you know it's very stressful for everybody i i am just blessed to um have a roof over my head be able to afford it and to have a job that is flexible enough um to remain in business and not have to lay anybody off i did get a phone call from a friend of mine who said he was laid off from his job um due to covid he was in a consultant position and um so i was kind of surprised that that particular company was um laying people off but apparently that's happening you know um the president of my company you know sent out a message basically indicating that they're they're not looking to furlough or lay anybody off um right now things are a little slow uh i guess bills are not exactly getting paid as normal but um you know the thought is that they've always operated conservatively so they've they've got money for things like this so they don't need to lay anybody off so hopefully things will start to pick up uh, soon and um we can all get to back to some sort of um, normalcy here at any rate um i'm on my way uh, to a store to pick up a gift um I was talking with Sandra. She said she sent me something, but she sent it to the Walgreens. And so I'm on my way to that Walgreens in order to get that. Um, I may come home and open it up. Uh, but she said it was for Mother's Day. I may wait until Mother's Day um, to open it. Maybe I'll open it on camera then. I don't plan on doing anything special um, for Mother's Day. You know, most places are still closed. I do still have a baby that I have to drag around. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really going places, you know. I, I spent the last week in my yard. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that um, during the stay in order, I have been. Um, I just want to make sure I don't miss my turn. I have been follow, um, doing a, a challenge where a uh, self improvement challenge where the idea is to do something for yourself to improve yourself or just to improve your mindset or whatever the case may be um every day for uh 30 days it was supposed to be for the month of april but i just did it for 30 days and then also kept myself busy by doing an outfit of the day for the baby because we're not allowed to go anywhere we can't do anything and he has all these clothes that he is not going to be able to fit soon so um i intentionally dressed him uh in an outfit every day sometimes two if he had a blowout but I dressed him every day and I took a picture of it and shared that on Instagram so I'm sorry that I have been um so delinquent in my YouTube channel it's just been really difficult to kind of just manage everything I've been trying to pull my life back together um and stay sane so um you know being on the computer you know, even to edit videos, I've continued to um, film. You know, I just, I'm, I'm just very delinquent. So, hopefully, by the time um, this airs, I'll be somewhat caught up uh, because I haven't done a lot of filming, but I have done some filming. So, I'm hoping to get caught up with that in the next week. Um, and there'll be a bunch of videos um, dropping. So, um, there. <laughs> but that's that's what we're doing. Um, you know, Baby G is about to turn seven months. Uh, I think I did. I think I did a six month update. I'm gonna check if I didn't. Then um, I'll come back on and, and do his six month update. I have to figure out what's gonna go on with the. Um, six month photos sorry there's a bug in here looks kind of like a mosquito I don't know what it is but um I need it out of here but yeah so I need to figure out what's going to go on with the six month photos so I need to contact the photographer and see what she wants to do he's about to be seven months so it's really um not going to be six month photos but I mean it's part of the package you get a photo shoot at six months and then again at nine months i don't know how i want to spin it maybe skip the six months i did do the um photo of the day so maybe i'll just include a collage
collage or whatever of um, those images in his six month update uh, since I'm not going to have any photo shoot pictures. Continue on East Michigan Street for one and a half miles. So um, that's where that's where we are. I'm just out and about today. I'm exhausted because I have been in the yard. Um, you know, I've been doing anything. We've been practicing our, our breast bottle, breast routine um, for when he goes to daycare. That's been going well. Um, I am noticing that he's just not drinking a whole lot. Um, which explains why he wants the boobs so often. He's not getting a whole lot off of me. So I have to do better now that I'm pumping. I can actually see um, what's coming out. And that's why he's so hungry. Um, he's not getting a whole lot from me. And now that I'm trying to give him more, he's like not interested in getting it. He's just like, okay, I'll drink two ounces. And then in a half hour or an hour, I'll ask for some more. You know, so... Um, Hopefully we can get on a, a, a better foot with that and um, get him drinking more in the setting so he can go longer in between his feeds. But that's where we are for now. But uh, yeah, so this is um, this one is a quickie as quickies go. <laughs> I just wanted to reach out because I haven't been on the camera um, in a while. I think that no, I was on the camera probably a week or so ago um, for his yeah his six month update because he went to um, his uh, he got his shots and stuff so yeah all right all right I'm just gonna get off because I don't even know what to talk about anymore because everything is like COVID pandemic you know and I haven't been doing much but just trying to stay sane um, in the house oh <sighs> um at any rate. I'll probably do a live uh, soon. Um, that live will happen before this will air, of course. But um, hopefully you all had a chance to um, get on the live and just, you know, kind of reconnect. Um, I've been trying to do that. That makes it simple for me to kind of get on there and reach out um, for you guys. And uh, without having to edit anything. So it just gives me a chance to reach out and touch you a little bit. Alright, so talk to you ladies later. Sticky baby dust to all those CTC.